stakeholders working for sustainable development in northern Ghana are demanding a national cross subsidization price policy on cement and other building materials. Officials of the Northern Development Forum simply do not understand why cement costs 20% uh, higher in the northern part of Ghana. Homeless and in need, their homes were flattened in the 2019 October floods. 87 years old Ayambiri Aburu is one of the displaced and hangs in here. This is what is left of his house. A roofless structure accommodating him, his daughter and a little one. <laughs> Sometimes I sit here till daybreak because I'm not able to sleep at night. I don't have anywhere to go. Apu Anisaya also lives here with wife and children. The entire house was flooded and collapsed. Across the region, 2,222 houses totally collapsed and 3,920 had some rooms standing. But unsafe in the October floods, displacing 26,698 persons, according to regional authorities. Ahead of the rainy season, some have started to rebuild their homes. But with mud, Architectural experts say with climate change, the problem will worsen. You see people's building collapsing. Meanwhile, there's no running water. The ground is saturated with water. So when the aquifer comes to the surface of the soil, then all the walls around the ground get wet. And the mud is collapsing. And that is why you saw many people's homes collapsing. To prevent the buildings from collapsing, I think we have to change our architectural design with the climate change affecting us, to have concrete on the floor before you put the local mud on it. Cement is the best for a solid foundation, but residents say the product is expensive. Many are therefore unable to acquire it. They therefore rely on mud to put a roof over their heads. The flooding will make the place and the challenges of development even harsher. It happened last year. It happened a couple of years back. It happened five years hence. It happened 10 years hence. And each time it happens, it's as if we, we had no preparation at all for the next one. From a disaster prevention and development point of view, stakeholders working for sustainable development in northern Ghana are demanding a cross-subsidization policy for cement and other building materials.